Hi guys, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and today is Sunday, July 30th, 2023. This week, for me anyway, I don't know about the rest of you, has been a lot. And we have a lot coming up in August. I have out here right now my Moonology book and we have a super full moon coming in on Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on where you live. And we also have coming up um, another full moon and a new moon. We have a lot going on in the category of full and new moon, especially full moon. Tuesdays is a super full moon. And then we have Venus that just went retrograde. And Venus is about your personal planets or love or relationship type stuff. And so I originally wasn't even going to do our weekly this week because I have been drained. But I knew that we needed to do it because there is a lot more that is coming down the pipeline for us. And for all of us that are star seeds, light workers, healers, earth angels, just people on this earth that are here to help and serve others, to bring light, whether it's in a big way or a small way. We're all clearing more karma. <laughs> like, does it ever end? Hopefully, yes, but we're still doing it. So just when you thought that maybe you went through a situation and you're all done, you're not. And sorry about that. I just got an interruption. So I've pulled the three cards as I was just talking to you guys. And I, I'm going to pull, I pulled out these cards I've had for a long time. They're called Postcards from Spirit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read each card to you guys. Then we'll pull a postcard to kind of wrap up each person's reading just to give you a little bit of an inkling of how you're entering August to begin and, um, and we'll go from there. So let's start with card number one. So card number one is the Smoky Quartz Crystal. These are the Crystal Angel cards. So if I say the Smoky, I mean, if I say the Crystal, you may perhaps want to get the Crystal that I say. And the first card is the Smoky Quartz Crystal. And it says, clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. So part of releasing the karma, as we were just talking about, was releasing the negative energy or the negative relationships that are pulling you down or the right the negative situations or the negative job that you're in or the negative people that you're around i know it sounds so negative but truly we are doing the best that we can on this earth so if you are in a situation right now where it's time for you to release release or let go of or step away from things that are not serving you and you chose card number one, this is your validation to do so. It is important for you to clear out the clutter that is in your life that is causing distraction. And so this card fell out as I was talking to you guys, so we're going to go with it. And it says, Dearest you, if you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you are brave and you will have courage. Act as if you are loved and you will be a magnet for love and experience the love of spirit. Act as if your prayers have been answered, as if you are truly in sync with good fortune. How you think is how you will see the world. Interact with it and draw conclusions from it. If you want to be the person who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours, you need to start acting as if it were true. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or chaotic or barren. These are temporary and don't even count. Defy them and act as if you're the luckiest person in the world. You will be for you already are. That's the real secret. You are infinite potential. Wow. So card number one, people. That negativity we were talking about releasing, it starts with you. What negative thoughts are in your head? Clear away the clutter. What negative feelings or negative um, reactions to a situation continue to play over and over again in your head. It's time for you to release them. It's time for you to love them and let them go. And that's our first card. 
Second card is the ruby, and the ruby is saying, bless your heart. Go into the heart, and if you need any emotional or spiritual support, ask. So if you're looking for support on this earth, ask. Ask someone that you love to support you. But we have a card that came out as well. Dearest, wonderful you, to help you manifest a life for the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all you desire, no matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reaction from others? Is change too daunting? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others? Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. We know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. And what this card say? This card said, reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal your heart. So the angels are coming in. The, the spirit guides are coming in loud and clear if you chose card number two and saying, give us permission to help you. We want to help you. We are here to help you. And the other thing that came up through reading this was, hold on, let me just get back to it. I have to be honest with you, it went right out of my head. Okay, well, if it comes back, I'll let you know. But essentially, for card number two people, ask for help. You're going through some stuff right now, as is everybody in the world. And if you chose card number two, I want you to go, oh, that's what it was. Go in the heart, get out of the head. Card number one is more about getting out of the head, getting out of that negative thought chatter or um, like limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Number two is time to get out of that. Get into the heart space. Before you speak, come from the heart. What would the heart say? Not what would the head say? What would the heart say? So that's card number two. And then card number three, and these are three great crystals too, is the amethyst card. And the amethyst says, you are on the road to revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. And the more that you get out of the head and into the heart, the more that the true you can be revealed. And so coming back to the beginning of this message, when we talked about how we're stepping into August with the full moons, the new moon, the Venus retrograde, and all of the other things that are happening universally astrologically the more that you step out of the head and into the heart and start revealing without holding back the true version of who you really are you're going to attract into your life the right people the people that are aligned with you because the masks are going to be taken off your true you is going to be revealed so that those that are aligned with you are going to come towards you and your card says dear you the simple yet powerful law of cause and effect means everything is in relationship. Every action on earth has a consequence and even in the spirit world, there is a consequence for every action taken as your behalf, on your behalf. Right now, you're facing conditions that were not in motion for by past decisions. Oh, sorry guys. Right, let me read it again. Right now, you're facing conditions that were set in motion by past decisions. Consequences are coming into being in your favor. They will remind you that making good choices and listening to your intuition will pay off. If some things are a little off and uncertain, know that whatever you are facing, you can step beyond it by just using your imagination and acting on that instead of reacting to what is being presented. Everything you think and do has far-reaching reverberations in the web of life. 
move to higher ground and have faith that what you what goes around comes around the universe is always self-correcting anyway isn't that amazing and when you're beginning to drop the masks and reveal your true self you're in that energy of self-correcting because you're letting go of the guards you're not showing people what you think they want to see but you're showing them who you really are and the universe is going to respond to that because the universe always knows when you are being of pure high vibration or when you're shrinking and when you're lowering yourself because you just want to be accepted. These people who chose card number three are being reminded you are amazing just as you are. Do not forget it. And I hope that there was something in these messages today that helped you guys. We did it a little differently, but it's a good way to switch it up sometimes to give you guys an idea of what you need to hear very simply without going into too many details. And we thank Spirit for working with us today. I will speak to you guys soon. You'll probably hear from me a little more this month. Have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye.